Tokyo, I want to just improve on what I did at the last Olympic Games. So in Rio, I had actually in, in the grand scheme of things a great competition where I finished in 14th place. Although at the time I was a little bit disappointed because I was diving well and I wanted more and I made a couple of mistakes in that semi-final. So the Tokyo Olympics, my aim is to improve on what I did in Rio and that improvement would be a final. And then once you're in the final, anything can happen. Well, it's going to be a completely different experience this time around because uh, with the Olympics in 2016, it was all about me enjoying the event, enjoying the people that I was around, just taking in everything about the village as much as possible. My whole attitude in terms of Rio was just have fun. I don't really, I'm not really too bothered about how I actually compete because I just wanted to enjoy it. I didn't want the stress of competition to weigh down on my shoulders by any means. But my focus going to this Olympics will be 100% different. I'll be a little bit more, a little bit more mindful of how I compete because I've got the experience now from the first time round. I've got, you know, the excitement of it off my shoulders, and now I can like actually focus on trying to do the best that I can possibly do. All right. So, what is it like being in the camp and getting prepared for that big game feel? Um. Everyone is everyone is focused. Everyone is focused. For many other divers, they are a little bit more performance focused. So, for example, in 2016, I was alongside the British team in the training camp before we went down to Rio, and you could send, you could feel a little bit of the pressure because their performances resulted in their funding for the next four years from you know UK Sport and. It also resulted in their personal funding for the divers and how they were going to be kind of seen in the next few years. So you, you sense the pressure a bit more. For me, it wasn't quite the same. I was, I was much more relaxed. So the limelight is something I never really think of. I do enjoy attention. I, I enjoy when attention is on me. I enjoy sharing my story, and when people are interested in my story, I, I enjoy all of that. But I'm not bothered about the limelight having to be on me by any means because you know I, I'll do what I do I'll, I'll give my best and I hope that people appreciate what I put into my sport and my craft I hope people that appreciate it um, will, will let me know that they do appreciate it and if they do then that's great but if they don't then I'm not too bothered because I'm going to do it regardless I'm going to do it regardless of the attention that I get but I will try and get as much attention whilst I go When you think of Japan and Tokyo what's the first thing that comes to mind? Japanese food, unique, unique cuisine. That's probably the first thing. Um, and the bullet trains, the trains, yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot about the train systems. Um, I've experienced the train systems. They run on point. Like, literally, we, I was on a training camp there last year. We had one minute to board the train and literally had to get, I think it was 25 people and 28 bags or something like that onto the train in one minute because we knew that once it, that, that time was up it's gone so you have to be quick. I've heard a lot about the Japanese culture I'm very very interested to learn more about it. Yeah I definitely enjoy my time as much as possible in Tokyo and uh, and take everything in and you know maybe I'll find some new hobbies or enjoy learn, learn to enjoy some new things. What kind of limitations does your coach set on you during Olympic time or during any big game time? Um, she doesn't really set any limitations, um, she, the main thing is as long as I'm happy and training well and enjoying training, that's, that's the main thing. Obviously there's a few things I have to maintain, I can't be eating too much food um, or like you know, going out partying too much, which I don't do anyway. I haven't been drinking this entire, for the last 12 months, I haven't been drinking at all so I've, there's a lot of things that I've personally just cut out because I know myself what I where I want to be and what it takes to get to that place so um, I think she is pretty relaxed with knowing that about me. So what, what do you want to see from like these Olympic Games? Um, not just in diving but for Jamaica as a whole, what are some of your expectations? Um, I would love to see a medal in something other than track. I'd love to see Alia Atkinson get a medal. 
that will be just unbelievable and I think she deserves it uh, after all this time so that's that's the main thing I'd enjoy to see and um, yeah a medal outside the track and field not no disrespect to track and field I know that they carry the team every single time but it's about time that Jamaica can see that it's not just track and field that's not the limit you can do many other sports I was at the pool this morning there was some um, young girls that was watching me and they bought their swimming costumes so I told them how to dive and in 45 minutes they learned the basics of diving and that's in 45 minutes imagine what they could do with a long period of time to train and from a younger age as well so the, the, the limit is in track and field I want that to be shown um, amongst Jamaica and hopefully my Olympic performance can help promote that as well.